My project, 1845, Memento Mori, is a famine memorial dedicated to the Irish potato famine. I have created an installation made from 1,845 hand-blown glass potatoes that are piled into the form of a kern. A kern is a man-made pile of stones that can serve as a landmarker, but in this case it represents a grave. The number of the potatoes, 1,845, references the year that the potato blight came to Ireland marking the beginning of a period of mass starvation, disease and emigration. Over one and a half million people died and a further one million emigrated. I chose to create a representation of the potato, a classic and iconic symbol associated with Ireland using molten hot glass. As a material, glass lends itself well as a metaphor for both fragility and strength, reflecting the vulnerability and resilience of those who died and those who survived the famine. The work will travel to Ireland and be shown at Irish heritage properties and at national museums that through their own specific histories inform and enhance the experience of viewing the work. In this work I have created a keepsake connecting me to my home, culture and heritage in Ireland. But also in creating this work I throw light on historical events that have shaped the present and in doing so I hope to open a dialogue on how we can learn from the past. When I started this work over 15 years ago it began as a solitary, private act of making a handful of potatoes. The idea for its ultimate manifestation was not fully formed, but in the act of making the work, there was a beginning, in what which I, as an immigrant, was creating a keepsake connecting me to my home and heritage in Ireland. On my own, I could make 60 potatoes a day with one other person. As word got out about what I was doing, I had artists contact me, offering to make potatoes for me in their own studios, as a way of honouring their ancestors who moved to America because of the famine. Over the period of one year, I worked 500 hours with 15 other artists to create all the potatoes. We worked in teams of six, spanning multi-generations of artists, from those in their 20s to those in their 70s. The process of making thousands of potatoes was repetitive, physical and tiring. It required stamina and focus. The act itself became a meditation on labour and determination. The act of making each individual potato requires human breath to animate the molten glass, literally breathing life into it. The form is coaxed out of a material that itself is like a living organism as it transforms from a liquid to a solid as it cools. This transformation occurs in minutes. The finished potato captures a specific moment frozen in time and in a way it also represents an unspoken word. The potatoes are clear and the absence of colour is intentional. Once cold, I sandblast the surface of each potato. The result is a recognisable form of the potato that in its stark whiteness looks like a ghost of the living form. It is a memento mori that serves as a reminder of mortality.